Two years, uh, two years reaction is so about this for always super cool by saving solo. Like, the link to the video will be the description below. Go in second month. So let's into this fucking three, two, one. Oh yeah, check it out, Sharers. Today we're here in Beverly Hills, California. And today we're in town because I'm recording Good a brand new song for my upcoming tour yeah. this May. That's right, in less than 25 days, I'm going on tour and I'm coming to a city near you. You guys know I'm always snacking, but this morning, I'm always sipping. Mm. And look at this view, it's yes. absolutely amazing. I'm so excited to be back in California. But we got a lot to do today. Cut the point now. I cannot pass the opportunity. Look at another supercar that the house is completely gone. Yeah. This is dirt. Yeah. Make the speakers bump, bump, bump. It's gonna get loud. So let's get this. Bump, bump, bump. Loud. Yeah. The day started. Step one, we gotta head to the gym. And my sister Grace. Oh, yeah, brushing my teeth. And flossing. And now we are in the gym and we are getting our own workout in. I'm actually very tired today. Must be from jet lag. So I'm not going to do much, but Carter is really here. He's really working out today. I'm doing a little something because Steven's too tired. <laughs> I'm tired and then I got to be prepared for singing. So I'm going to do a little bit of workout. I'm going to use this treadmill thing. It's uh, curved. So you apparently get 30% more of an exercise on this. So I use really? this and it's um, manually powered. So you kind of just let go of the brake here. Determine how much resistance you get. If you try running a mile on this, it's way harder than running a mile on the road or on a regular treadmill. I'm going to run wow, a little really? bit, just get a little bit more awake. By the way, when I hit the recording studio, I actually have energy and I'm not saying uh, yeah. a monotone and boring. Round and round, here we go. Hands up high and the bass down low. And as I run, I go through all the lyrics in my head. So I really just practice everything for this new song. And as you know, I gotta run because as I'm going on tour and I'm going to shows in different locations like Denver, Colorado, the altitude is so high that I don't want to run out of breath. So the running, swimming, working out every single day and I cannot skip today, no matter how tired I am. No days off. And yes, I am wearing slippers because I did not feel like putting on real shoes, but that's not gonna affect me. So I heard running barefoot is actually kind of good for you, so let's go. And Carter's working out those abs right now. There we go. Grace is upstairs waking up, getting ready for the day. Now I always stay at this hotel when I'm in LA, and this is something new that they have here. They just put this in the gym. Vertical backwards, you hang on this thing and you flip it upside down. It's supposed to be really good to just like stretch out your back. I'm definitely gonna try this. Feet in, you snap really tight. <laughs> okay. Okay, <laughs> okay, here we go. If it's not adjusted, you'll get stuck. I really hope this thing works for me. Your back is gonna crack. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Literally hanging by your little ankles. There oh, we go. I heard it crack. What's up, Sharers? Welcome to the gym. Yeah, hey, welcome to the gym. <laughs> this is awesome. I can't wait to Really try awesome. It. I can't believe they have this here. It's so random. <laughs> we should take it. Really random. <laughs> you have to make sure that this does not mess up your vocal cords, Steve. I think it's probably good for it. <laughs> yeah, you think? I sure hope so. And Carter's also hitting some uh, push so just Getting those <laughs> arms pumped up. There we go. And now Carter's working on his chest. Pump that out. Oh my gosh. There you go. Ooh, those chest ah. muscles look big. There you go. Woo! Oh, that was actually a really good workout. Carter's turning to go upside down now. Wow. So far, so good. Ooh. And then I just hang. And then you just hang. You're fully inverted. That's great. Isn't that cool? Oh, we're back from the gym and check out what is here. Well, yes, Grace is still here, but we got our. What, is, what, is what do we get? Looks like we got coffee. Oh, coffee. Didn't wait for us. Oh, time's on. It makes me tired. Yeah, Grace. Mind me, Tom. We we'll wait sure you have a cup of joe. And then we have fruit platter and some eggs. Oh, some eggs. Two eggs and potatoes. And Two eggs and potatoes. Whole omelet, but I guess not. Then we got some fresh orange juice. We're we definitely juice. going to eat, get ready for the day. It looks like the weather's starting to get a little bit better. Definitely getting a little bit warmer. See the sun coming out over there, which is where we're heading. It's still pretty cloudy in Beverly Hills, but you do see yeah. the nice cloudy water fountain. Beverly Hills sign. Okay, and now Grace is actually leaving the vlog right now with her suitcase and stuff because she is going to pick up a something very, very special. If you want to know what it is, you got to check out her channel. She's been posting about it. I'll give you a hint. It's going to be another Sheriff Head member. If you know what it is, comment down below. I want to see how many of you actually know. But that's where Grace is off to. Yeah, I guess that's a little hint. It's in another state that I have to fly to. Well, Sam, good luck finishing your song. I can't wait to hear the final product. 
I have to go head to the airport and I can't miss my flight. Okay, have fun. And here it is, the original fun. King Rar house. Look at that. How cool is that? We look cool. the same, other than the hedges being taller, honestly. It does look the same. But Carter did some pretty crazy videos at this house. Look out below! Oh! And fun fact, I've actually never been to this house because when Carter lived here, I was still at the original OG Share Fam house with Mama Share. So I've never been to this house, yeah. but Carter did some pretty wild things. Oh, yes. And Shares, we are actually making a pit stop. We might be uh, exploring all of Team Rar's old houses, but before we go to Carter's big, big Team Rar house, we're going to stop by my house here in Beverly Hills that I used to live at. And oh my goodness, no way. It still has the duct tape on the address number. And see there's still a newspaper sitting at the bottom of the driveway. For some reason, Beverly Hills gets a newspaper like every day. And I've never really read the newspaper, but like, look, there's one there, there's one there. This, I guess, still happens to the people that live here now is that they don't read the newspaper. This is so funny. And they still have, I put duct tape over the address number right there and it's still there. The house literally looks the exact same. This is crazy. I remember going to the backyard tennis court. You had a bunch of like scooters and fun things back there. Whoa, man. Whoa. Yeah, this house was so cool. I can't cool. believe it literally looks the exact same. The neighborhood looks the exact same. The trees yep. look the exact same. Yep. This is crazy. It feels like really I can literally clean. just walk right back in the house and everything inside would be the exact same too. And I feel like it was just yesterday that Ellen, this scary old lady, was peeping around the street sign right there when we first discovered her in Los Angeles. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, Grace, there she goes. Obviously, you can't see much with the head yeah. here, but... I can kind of see it and it looks the exact same. Would I ever move back to this house though? I had an amazing time at it, but I definitely like my new house now. I got more space. It's more cozy. But you definitely like my new house even better. Ah, uh, we'll see. But we, see. we do have one more house to look up before we head to the recording studio. And that is second Team Rar house, the Mega Mansion up in Bel Air. The Mega Mansion. Up in Bel Air. Cybertruck. That's a bit like. Up in Bel Air. Uh -oh. By the way, Sarah, as soon as I get back from LA, we are actually putting a hot tub in my Cybertruck. World's Damn first it. hot tub in a Cybertruck. Car is going to help me and get it put into the Cybertruck, so get ready for that video. Around, here we go. Hands up high in the base down. And now we're in the beautiful neighborhood of Bel Air. It's absolutely gorgeous here. And this is where Carter's second Team Rar house is. It was right behind here. Let me give you a little bit of a warning. Um, a lot has changed. Yeah, emotional warning because I don't know where my house went. It's not even there. It's literally gone. Yeah, what does he mean by that? Well, check this out. Go up the driveway to this. Nothing. The house is completely destroyed. That's right. Check this out. The house is 100% gone. I can't believe they knocked down the old Timar house. It was absolutely oh, huge, absolutely yeah. massive. And now they're building this brand new house, which is going to be even crazier. But check this out. You can still see the original Team RAR basketball court with the logo on it and everything. So they're still keeping that out of all things, which is so, 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 so cool. It is truly amazing though, Sherry, that the house is completely gone. It's just dirt. Yeah. This is wild, but as wild as it is, we really well. gotta get to the recording studio. Yeah. Find music first, I guess we just gotta keep looking forward. Can't look back. Yeah, Carter's a little upset that the house is gone. It was over a hundred years old. It was like classic. Carter thought it would be here forever, that he could maybe move back to it one day. So smash the like button for Carter. Let's make him happy yeah, by getting like. over 2,000 likes on this video. But the Uber's here and we gotta hop in and we gotta get to the recording studio, so let's go. Okay, okay, okay. I know we gotta get to the recording studio, but I cannot pass the opportunity. Look at another supercar. Solid's on our way to the recording studio. First off, check this out. Lamborghini Mura up in the air. I can't tell you. You think this is real? I'm snacking in this. <laughs> no, I think it's an artist's rendition right there. It says it's made by Mr. Brainwash and it's fiberglass. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. Right. It looks super real, but it's actually not even a real car. It's just fiberglass. It's probably made to scale. Oh yeah, it's definitely not real, but it's very, very cool. It, it definitely caught our eye. And check this out. We are here in a lot with a bunch of exotic cars. We've got the awesome Hummer EV. As oh, cool. The brand new Tesla Cybertruck. Before I got the Cybertruck, I definitely wanted the Hummer EV. Honestly though, I'm kind of glad I didn't get it because it's cool, but I think the Cybertruck is way cooler. That is cool, I do want it. Then they have the orange Lamborghini Urus. This paint color is very nice. Look at it reflect in the sun. Look at that. That is a Whoa, really, really good yellow paint color. Steven, that's not orange, it's yellow. 
Do I say orange? Yeah. Oh. Okay, well, it's yellow. That looks good. Then they have the brand new... Oh, this is a Ferrari GTB, I think. I think this is the brand new Ferrari GTB. Paul just got one in yellow. I actually yeah. test drove the GTB convertible. They are very, very cool cars. Very expensive price tag. And honestly, Ferrari is one brand that we've never added to the car collection. Do you think we should add a Ferrari? No, I have a Ferrari. Oh, yeah. I have the world's cheapest Ferrari, and I hung it in a tree. That went horrible. Car collection. Do you think we should add a Ferrari? No, I have a Ferrari. Oh yeah. Exactly. I have the world's cheapest Ferrari in a hundred yeah. <laughs> That went horrible, but we yeah, it's up there. I'm not happy about it. Technically anyway, we do have a Ferrari in the car collection, but in terms of like a new Ferrari or in terms of new supercars, we have new Lamborghini, we have new McLaren, we don't have anything Ferrari wise, and because yeah. Ferraris are actually very, very expensive, you have to be on a wait list for them just to even get a new one. But Ferrari did release a model and it's not doing very well, and the prices on them have come down. And it's this thing right here. This is the Ferrari F8. When they originally launched it, these things were costing over a million dollars, and now they've dropped about half of that. So you can get one for about 400, 500,000, which is still a lot of money. Wow. Like more than a Lamborghini Aventador. But they are yeah. definitely coming down in price. Why they're coming down, I'm not sure. But the hype on these ones wore off. But I think it's a pretty cool car. Honestly, this this could be the one to add to the collection. Really, really cool. It is a lot, but it's a Ferrari. Look how good that looks. Give me the yeah. cheapest Ferrari in the country, or maybe like the second cheapest. I don't know. It's something to consider, Sherry. If you think we should add a new Ferrari to the collection, like this F8, you've got to comment down below, Ferrari. I want to see how many of you are Ferrari fans. I mean, look at this thing. The red with the yellow calipers. It looks so good. It's got air intakes. Air intake there. Air intake in the hood there. This thing looks good. Oh, it's got a carbon fiber on the steering wheel. Wow, really cool. Really cool. You're vlogging and I'm sipping. You're always snacking. But then I look at Lamborghinis. Yes. Like, look at this Urus. This is less than half the price of that. It's a bright blue Lamborghini Urus with blue interior. Look at well, that. I like oh, blue. Those rims look so good. Look at that. This thing looks amazing. So, yeah, this is kind of why I have troubles with Ferraris because they're still so expensive. And Lamborghinis yeah. are half the price. And look, they look so cool. If you were to get any of the cars in this lot right now, what would you get? Oh, the old Phantom. Look at that. Look at that. Super old Rolls Royce Phantom. That thing is huge. Oh, really? It, it does give you a good comparison. A Ferrari cool. next to Lamborghini. Your car looks Yours is really cool. cool. Honestly, you can't go wrong. All these cars are amazing, but on these yeah. three, I'm going Hummer. And uh, Hummer. Hummer, are you going Hummer or are you going Cybertruck? Well, you have the Cybertruck. I'll take the Hummer then. Okay, enough. We're not buying a supercar today. We did just buy the Cybertruck, and we gotta get to the recording studio. So come on, we gotta go. This movie is so good. I'm almost done. And now we are all at the liar layer because Carter and Grace came to watch me record my new song. Yeah, I can't wait to see how the magic is done when you make a new hit single. Yeah, we're here to support Stephen for his song. <laughs> we got Alina here on the computer. Look up all the vocals, all the track. This song is gonna be called Loud because it's loud and it sounds really good. It's a cool rap part in it that I really, really like. Relax, let go, move fast, go slow. Feel the rhythm from your head to your toes. Go on and step up to it, let that groove in. Hit it like a drummer till you're one with the music. Jump to the sky, to the left, to the right. Cause you know you got a body, baby, gotta, gotta use it. And I, yeah. and I learned the song and now we're going to uh, lay some tracks and record the whole thing. You ready? Yes. <laughs> All right, Steve, let's see how you do this thing. Put a little smile up on your face. Put on your dancing shoes. Put a little cash into your case. Put on a real good mood. Can I just catch up with them? Put a little smile up on your face. Put on your dancing shoes. You're getting a little delayed. Like, don't get as a, put a little smile up on your face. Put on your dancing shoes. Especially the face and the case. You tend to go like, a little bit late. Oh, okay. Put a little smile up on your face. Put on your dancing shoes. Put a little cash into your case. Put on a real good mood. Round and round, here we go. Hands up high and the bass down low. I love that. Stomp your feet with me, baby. It's what we do. It's, it's who we are. Make the speakers bump, bump, bump. It's gonna get loud. Heartbeat like a drum, drum, drum. It's gonna get loud. Remember, I'm going on tour in less than 10 days. So if you want to meet me and hear this song, get your tickets now at stevensharer.com. <laughs> the song is to be really good, yeah. <laughs> that was that was so about this Ferrari Super Cup by Steven Soto. The link to the video will be the description below. Go and check them out and drop a like if you like. And comment down below if, if you want to see more reactions like this one. And subscribe if you're new.
in clickable should be no for minor block in what but <laughs>